Merry Christmas. I hope you had a good day. I see that I saw in the, uh, the Discord, Smokey did quite well in terms of Christmas presents. That's a very nice looking combo. Yeah, another Christmas done and dusted. It's kind of crazy how quickly it seems to shoot past. All this build up and then it's suddenly over. But I, I enjoyed Christmas this year quite a lot. It was nice to have... Uh, it was a lunch with the family, and it was really nice. It was straightforward. There was no big stresses or anything like that. It was it was good. I I enjoyed it a, a lot. I feel like I feel like I remember it being a lot more difficult the last time we had to host Christmas, but it was good. How about you guys? How was your Christmas days? That is good to hear, Smokey. So tonight, while you think of your responses, tonight <coughs> it's going to be relatively relaxed. Went to the beach? Oh, hell yeah. Sounds great. That does sound good. I mean, that sounds, thinking about it, that sounds like the archetypal Australian Christmas, right? Started at the beach, have a lunch with the family. And then just kind of chill in the afternoon when it starts getting really hot. Perfect. Well, I'm glad we all had a good Christmas. Let's see if we can have a good Christmas stream. Oh, backyard cricket. Again, smoky. Perfect. Did you do well? Did you bowl anyone out? Did you hit any sixes? 
Well, actually, no. I imagine it would be six and out. Did he hit any fours? So the plan in terms of games is we have, we've got a few. These are the finest quality free Christmas games I could find in about an hour and a half. So we have Christmas Shopper Simulator. Surprise Stack 1.2. No More Snow and Ho Ho Home Invasion. Only the best, like I said. As well as, uh, what was it? Build your own cozy Christmas town. Ho Ho Home Invasion. Well, we can start with that one. We can absolutely start with that one. So apparently, Ho Ho Home Invasion is a kind of stealth uh, Metal Gear Solid like. In that you're moving through the world as Santa trying to deliver the presents. Oh, let me get out of the way. Hi Santa, there are so many presents to deliver for Christmas. With only a few days to prepare, luckily us elves have got you back. Our new socially distance training center, this was made during COVID I'm pretty sure. Can you tell we're actually in a giant warehouse? We've replicated all the obstacles you'll encounter in the field. Pretty neat, huh? You're gonna need to be super stealthy after completing simulated training scenarios. To begin, enter the house using W, S, and D. One more thing, hit tab to swap the overhead angle to see how your sneaky self. Oh, I closed that on me. It's not going to deliver the presence itself. Walk up to it and press E when you are near it. And place the presence. This is the present meter. To place a present under the tree, press E to stop the indicator as close to the center as you can. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so we want to stop it in the green zone, basically. It does, right? It sounds like a um, a slasher film from the 70s or whatever. And they they got a bunch of like adult actresses involved. Good job, that's one fine looking tree. Proceed to the room on your right to continue your training. Alrighty. How do I like crouch? Walking slowly. Oh, suddenly a beat drop in the music. Meet our lifelike training robots. I feel like that sounds familiar. What's it about, Wolf? We've worked very hard to simulate how humans respond to seeing Santa Claus in the flesh. A robot with a green search cone is going about their searching business. Don't step into the light. A robot hears you or becomes suspicious, their search cone will turn orange and they'll try and find you. And if they see you, well, their search cone will turn red. They will just, the more you disturb a robot, the higher their awareness level will rise. See that question mark above their head? When that fills up, the jig, jiggle jig is up for you. So be quiet and keep out of sight. But since it's Christmas, I'll let you off just this once. On to the next room. The jiggle jig? I don't know about that. You get out of the robot's line of sight, their awareness level will drop back down, so you would... Just like waiting to open up your presents, be patient! Yeah, it's gotten really... oopsie-daisy. Really stormy in the last bit. I took a nap because I could. And, um... It was rough. What am I, what am I saying? I was woken up, is what I should have said. I was woken up by thunder and stuff. And it's raining quite a little, quite a lot. The actor for, oh yeah, yeah, uh, what's his face? Is the cop, uh, is the Santa? Alcoholic, so to say, he delivers his presents to a family mansion, which is getting rough, so his reindeer leaves, so he comes, family saving mission. 
Oh, that's very nice of them. I also learned that sometimes people will troll around the house. We must prepare you for this, Santa. Army Mivens can make it past the patroller without being seen. Stay out of that searching green zone. Yeah, it sounds like a, uh, a slasher flick. You can keep an eye on patrollers using the minimap top left or the mouse to look around. Wow, well, we can look around. What a time to be alive. Hoof it. Okay, some dude explodes. Does he explode because he's getting too many presents? Just as you love lists, some people like to curl up with a good book on Christmas Eve, but that doesn't mean watchers can't catch you waltzing past. When a watcher is reading, their search cone disappears so they can't see you. Wait for a watcher to be distracted by the book before trying to sneak by. And I mean, a sneak by. Welcome on in, Shadow. Happy Christmas to you as well. You know you can press and hold shift to halve your work speed? Or toggle it by pressing C. I did know that, Mr. Elf. I did. Thank you. How is your... I mean... You've probably just woken up, Shadow. How is your... Uh, Christmas? So far. What do you what do you have planned? What's what's your what's your go? What are you doing, bookman? Uh oh, I pressed the wrong button. There's a whistle button apparently. Okay, so he's patrolling. We're through. Ow. That'll be nice. Look, Santa, stockings. I love stockings. Fill them up with presents just like you did with that tree. Can do. Did you see the sleepers? If you make too much noise when approaching those stockings, you'll wake them up. So be careful. I wonder what they dream about. Probably presents. Make even less noise and welcome present hold space to temporarily enter sneak mode. Have you noticed a noise meter bottom center? It lets you know how much noise you're making. So don't spend all your time stomping. Uh, I did. Ooh, slow. I did. Uh, it was mostly... Currency? But that is not a bad thing, given the kind of current financial climate we find ourselves in. Precisely, I can get exactly what you want. So I did also get a belt, which is boring, but precisely what I needed as well. Sleeper robots aren't the only one who can hear you. Everyone can. Oh no! But you can use that to your advantage. Press F to whistle a festive tune and distract the guard robot. When they come to investigate, the nosy humans always do sneak past them. No. What are you going to do? Which way? So stealthy. Okay, 47. Distract the garden and eliminate him. Typical. The door is locked. How could they? There's bound to be a key for it somewhere nearby. What else? I got some other things that I was quite enamored with. I mean, that's definitely the way I would. I'm, I'm definitely a, a stealth, if I can, person. You've done it. I knew you'd be a promising Santa. Now exit the house and head to your sleigh to complete your training. For now. Well, we set up more realistic simulations for you ahead of the big night, so try them out and see how quickly you can deliver presents to everyone. 
But whatever you do, don't get caught. Ow. Complete the training. This time, we're only twice as long. Have you have you gotten any presents yet, Shadow? Or is that going to be tonight when when Mum turns up? Level one, eh? You snow the drill. Get it, guys? Snow the drill. But I need the uh, the Seinfeld kind of thing. Just got got by the guard. <laughs> Luckily, that doesn't play through the the game speakers. Otherwise, we'd be in real trouble. It's fine. What's the go? So that's a kitchen. We need to get in there for the stocking. Surely these cookies and milk should give me more health, right? Or something. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna crack the door. Beast to Fathom. Is that that kind of anthology series? Um, why are you coming in here? Don't do that. Damn it. Neither will I. Oh well, we'll try that again. Uh, big... I can understand it's a very nice gift, but I'm really not a fan of American chocolate. It does not... does not compare to European chocolate to my... to my sensibilities. Look at that, all green, baby. Um, like anthology, so like a collection of not necessarily related stories. So like, uh, if you know the Twilight Zone, that's an anthology series. Where they're different kind of horror, oh sorry, sci-fi or horror kind of stories. That FNAF Foxy hoodie does sound perfectly you, Shadow. Because I think there was a recent one. Um, why? <laughs> yeah. Ow. Maybe I'm not the stealth god that I thought I was. Yes, I think I I saw some fellow streamers streaming it. Real stealthy like. So for those who had it already, and for those who, I guess, are making it, what is your thing you're most looking forward to or most enjoyed having for your Christmas uh, foods today? As weird as it sounds, my mum made a chicken. Um, I don't know if I'm made for this, guys. It's getting there. Wolf, it's getting there. Between... Um, just... Issues at my end in terms of actually remembering things and... Uh, issues at the, the texture's end, because... Friend of the channel, Kesa, is the one doing the texturing. 
Um, I'm hoping that it'll turn up in the maybe if we're lucky before the new year. Otherwise, hopefully early in the new year. Which is part of what I want to do um, when my time off is do a kind of update work to the the stream environment to kind of add some 3D uh, elements to it to match it. No, I haven't claimed the uh, Valkyrie yet. So I've only heard good... Th I saw it Excuse me, I saw a YouTuber review it, and it looks really nice. What makes your special pudding so special? Shadow? Ooh. Delta Pole. The yumminess. That'll do it. That would do it, Shadow. I mean, second to the... Uh, the chicken that I mentioned before. My mum also made some homemade ice cream, which I think was basically just coconut cream and something else. So yes, I, like like your yumminess in a in a pudding, diabetes in a bowl, but nice diabetes too. Unfortunately, the diabetes in the bowl is sometimes the nicest diabetes. Nil. I I probably did too, to be honest. There's a there's a New Zealand soft drink called uh, LNP. I think it's called Lemon and Perora. Perora. There's probably a Kiwi somewhere watching, going, Ugh. but it's really quite nice. And because I've got a, a Kiwi uncle, we always make a point of having it on the table. Okay, now we've got an exfiltrate. Oh, premium soda is such a classic. But I, I'm definitely a big lemonade stand. Okay, let's just hold up here. Flippin' leg it. Hey, check that, that shoon, idiot. Was complete the first level. So we'll probably do this for maybe an hour or so, and then move on to another game. Well, I say an hour or so. It depends how long I can endure my seemingly... Not goodness at this game. You're slaying it, Santa. Why aren't you guys making these good puns? Keep it up. Okay, this one's going to be rough because we've got this chap reading right next to the stocking. We've got Captain Patrol a lot over here, next to the tree. And there's stockings on the fireplace. There's a stocking on... stockings on that fireplace. These guys are getting a lot of gifts. I should be able to post up behind the couch, right? Post up over here. Am I all stealth like? I mean, I'm incredibly short. 
Aiming. So much gaming going on right now, gamers. Okay, so we need to go over there for those stockings. So much focus. Much MLG. Whatever happened to MLG? I remember that being like a big deal. Major League Gaming. I mean, I know it's awfully pretentious these days. But well, at least to my mind, it is. I find esports kind of a little bit cringe, TBH. Wait for this fool to go past. We need to get into that study. That's a huge teddy bear, my goodness. Surprise. It's me, bespectacled Santa. Santa does wear glasses, but they're normally not quite as thick rimmed as this one. I feel like this Saint Nick has some significant eyesight issues. Oh no, they're scanning! Stop scanning, read your book. Damn it. Oh. Thank you for taking me back here, I guess. Peace. This is a big house. Keep an eye on your minimap so you don't get lost. I feel like this game would be a lot better if I could just bust down walls. So we need to get in that side, which means we need a key. Which is over here, guarded by Captain Nerd reads a book a lot. Yeah, Kool-Aid Man in. There is someone on patrol. Yeah, Santa is absolutely strong enough, and he's not. He's got if he's not, he's got twelve reindeer that definitely are. Let's just close that door. Real quick. Oh, there's a Christmas tree here. How many Christmas trees does this place have? I mean, I know my place is a lot smaller than this, but I've only got one. I feel like that's more than enough. But the Christmas magic, again, a good point. I hadn't considered the Christmas magic, but you are 100% correct. Wreaths inside is an interesting choice. I've always thought of them as more of an outdoor thing. Ow. Oh, that was lucky. We just got through that. 
Now for ultimate stealth mode. Idiot didn't even hear me. I will just quickly get these cookies there. Because how are they going to know that Santa was here if I didn't eat the cookies? Also, Smokey, I just kind of registered what you was riding there. Why, why sell all your cars and restart? What's the, what's the game plan there? I've never had eggnog actually. I've never really had a, a want to have it. Well, guess you're gonna have it then. You have to you have to tell us what it's like. Actually, Shadow probably has eggnog pretty regularly. It's more of a Northern Hemisphere thing. I feel like. Our skates on? Any stockings in there? Nah. There are in here though. Is that a pre deployed present or one I have to give out? No, it's a pre deployed one. Well, I've only heard pretty good things about it. Is it, what is it? It's basically like uh, a milk custard of sorts with alcohol in it, basically. Doesn't sound terrible. And he's back. Shadow, you're... You seem like the kind of guy who may have done this. Have you had eggnog before? Well, I mean, neither have I, Wolf. Like, there should be- I should be able to get out the window there. Is it kind of just, like, alcoholic custard? There's a Wolf here is getting some eggnog, apparently. He's unsure what to expect. Are you gonna pause at that Christmas tree and admire my work? I think my first exposure to eggnog was Fairly Odd Parents, where the dad of that just loved eggnog. Mmm, okay. It sounds surprisingly like some sort of protein shake, to be honest. I just the, the amount of egg, I guess, in it makes it sound like one to me. First try. Complete third level without raising awareness. Hell yes, that's me. We'll do one more. I think we'll do this fourth level. Oh, there's two houses. Well, we'll try to at least. I'm to spruce things up. There are two houses here. Watch out for the patroller between them. So I'll give this a shot, and then we'll move on to something else. 
Oh yeah, I mean, my preferred use of eggs is absolutely scrambled. That is the way I normally go for eggs. That or, I will say, eggs in a cake, probably the best use of them. But if they're on their own, scrambled eggs. I eat the Christmas pudding. Can't. I need the pudding. It's a shame of it all. Scrambled eggs on toast? Nah, I mean, the the dream for me is always the kind of continental breakfast: scrambled eggs, bacon, maybe a sausage, a fried tomato. Um, what else would I have? I mean, ideally, something you'd have something like a chorizo as well. That'd be quite nice. It's partly because the the gluten-free experience means that the toast is kind of for the most part. And it's normally best just to like stick to the 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 meats and the proteins or the fruits. What is pan garlic bread, Wolf? I mean garlic bread itself is already pretty top tier. So what's the go with this fool? Oh, that does sound quite nice. Maybe we just absolutely leg it. No, it turns out absolutely legging it, not great. I mean, that's ideal bread, right? Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Woolworths, when I when I could eat regular bread, did a really amazing loaf, which is like like that, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Particularly if you got it fresh. So nice. I think I can post up behind that tree and not get spotted. No, fresh bakery bread? No. You don't like garlic bread, Shadow? My goodness. I thought it was almost universally enjoyed. Ah, oh, well. Well, you're like, actually, you're like my stepfather. He's, he's, no, he's not a huge fan of garlic bread either. Nothing wrong with that, Smokey. I would say that I've taken a break from uh, TikTok, but then again, I never really started TikTok per se. I'm just really bad at posting. I mean, I'm definitely similar, Shadow. I cannot s stand cucumber at all. Hate it with a passion. I'm not really a huge fan of avocado. Uh, what else? I've only just recently grown to like, um, what are the mushrooms? And even then, not on not on their own. I'll have it with stuff, like on a on a pizza or whatever. But never, never on their own. Like a, I don't know how you cook mushrooms baked. I guess. Onion, and onion, interesting. Yeah, so I don't think I'd ever have it like on its own like that. Though actually, I can have it. I can come at it sliced up. But I do sometimes do that on the uh, continental breakfast I was talking about before. How much gaming going on right now, guys? I used to absolutely hate tomato wolf. Um. I was a weird kid because I would explicitly ask for um, my pizza without sauce because that was tomato and that was no bueno. Oh, 
But basically, I went to an event where they kind of didn't know that. And uh, so I got pizza with tomato sauce and just kind of had to roll with it. Yeah, I don't, I really don't get the obsession with them. They're not, they're fine. Post up behind this tree. I think it is. But I mean, clearly some people like them, right? Oh yeah, that's like the, the Lamborghini film, right? Get this time about Mr. Ferrari. They're expensive and they're also very uh, delicate from what I hear. Ooh, we've uh, made a hash of that parking job. I think I'm going to call it there and let's move on to another game. It's actually not bad. Particularly seeing as it was free. <laughs> I'm involved with Cajun seasoning. Well, it does sound kind of sound like you're in love, Wolf. I've uh, really there's a uh, I've got a shaker of Mexican seasoning in my kitchen, and that has really gotten a workout this year because it can really just like take things up another notch so easily. So we've got Surprise Stack, No More Snow, and let's do Surprise Stack because I think it's a little bit more relaxed, not quite as stressful. Paprika Pringles. This is some sort of physics puzzle game. I think what we've got to do Collect the presents without making waking Mr. Slumberton. Not all presents are equal. Keep an eye out on the different patterns. So there is Mr. Slumberton, asleep as his name would suggest. I think we're in a lighthouse, just given the round nature of this place. Someone got a NS SNES? NES? SNES, I think. So, like, if we took this, then Mr. Slumberton wakes up. But if we do this instead... Mr. Slumberton does not wake up. Oh, let's just check out these Sainsbury's... Paprika. I always... I was really surprised to discover that paprika is just dried capsicum. I honestly thought it was something else. Yeah, it is. Which is just so, like... I don't know. Obvious, I guess? What if I do this? Oh yeah, Mr. Slumberton's fine. You're just gonna move fast. I think if we... Oh. Okay. What is this about? He's still fine. Can we get rid of that? Oh, okay, so he can't touch the ground. Okay. This one's going to be difficult, I think.
Yeah, because then he touches the ground. Then he definitely touches the... No, he's fine, okay. He's fine. He's upside down, but he's perfectly... He is that... That tuck it out. That that is perfectly acceptable for Mr. Slumberton. Are these are... Okay, those are other... Let's do that as well. Oh! Minus four? I don't know what happened there. I mean... If, uh... What was it? Reincarnation was real? I would 100% be alright with coming back as my parents' cat. For that reason. Perfectly fine. But this one's gonna... Oh, that just disappears, okay. So is that supporting that one? No. Oop. Oop. Okay, so these ones on that aren't with a thing don't have a... Don't have a bow, that's what I was looking for. Oh, oh no, they do, but they just turn into toys. We're gonna have to get rid of that one at the bottom. Uh, Mr. Slumberton, no! Get down, Mr. Slumberton! Okay, that didn't work either. Okay, that works better. Done. The 3D environment in this game is really pretty. Like, I would absolutely vibe out here. I would like to say this is where I stream from, but it's really not. Do you telescope? You do telescope. That was really creepy. I, I'm actually quite pleased with that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click that one in the... Oh, that one in the middle turns into balls. No, I thought... It, I'm really a big fan of that Christmas tree because it's like... You can fold it up so all the, the timber branches are, are flat. So you can just slide it behind the couch. Which in my place is fantastic. Land it. Land it. Smokey, just go go ahead and just send it. Space Saver X Mystery, absolutely. Oh, the balls! No. That is a sleepy puppy. Real tuck it out. Nailed it. Oh. Hello. Okay. Hello, Smokey. My name is Jeff. Bye, have a great time. Uh, no. So we do that and then do that. Uh. No, that was too ambitious. 999. Well done, Smokey. The dream. Okay, that was... That was quite a lot of flatulence. I'll do this next stack, and then I'll do the exercises. Oh, they're all boxing gloves. Uh, 
Um... Okay, Jeez. I feel like that, that was almost a good move. Ah. That's balls. That's not balls at the bottom. Okay, that's balls there, though. So we need to take six presents, and we have five here and... Sorry. You have five here and four here. So we need to leave three behind. Oh, we can leave three behind. Yeah, right? Ah, oh, extreme wipeout. I missed that show. That was great. I mean, it would probably help that I was, like, in year nine at the time. But that was, like, perfect television for that H room. I don't think it's a cat. I think this is a dog. It's got, like, corgi vibes to me. Yes, I think I agree. Cat dog? I don't think so, because it's got a tail at the end. Uh, I, th I honestly think we might be able to pull something off. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just a fool. Okay, so that moved that one. That is annoying. Slumber tent. What is what is Slumberton's problem with uh, being on the ground? That's what I want to know. There you go, Smokey. That was basically what you wanted. I'm gonna just maybe he is. That works. Summerton's fine. He's, the floor is lava and he's not touching it. Perfect. Okay, I need to do these push-ups as I promised. I will return momentarily. Talk amongst yourselves. But behave yourself. I will just talk outside. As you know, I didn't have room to do this in my bedroom. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. I don't know if I've ever actually played The Floor is Lava. Uh. Oh, I just need to get rid of that last one, okay. Oh, there we go. Thank you for the, the mute reminder there. What is bumper cars? I mean, I obviously know like the fairground bumper cars, right? But I imagine that's not what you're talking about.
Okay, all right, that's... <laughs> that's quite something. Gaming. Crushed it. We're in level 14. Oh, almost halfway through. No, slightly more violent. The, the one thing that... Um, folding arms and running into things reminds me of... Whatever reason at school, I think in about year nine, the cool kids discovered that you could knock someone out. Not like, not like hit them, but what they'd do... This was only for like a month, if that, maybe a week, where they'd, they'd cross their arms across their chest and be up against a wall, and then they'd basically exhale as much air as they could and then get someone to run into their chest to wind them, basically. So they just kind of pass out. I never quite understood why you'd want to do that. I actually have never done dodgems. Gaming. This would be such a chill, like it's snowing outside, the fire's on. You've got this amazing spread over here. The TV going. Oh man, I don't know why you've got a Christmas wreath again on the inside. Unless this is in fact a common area for a set of apartments. Oh gracious. No! We're fine. He's loving it. I don't know, apparently this is a very different Christmas experience to what I expected. Okay, hold on. Uh, reset. If I do that... And then launch that that way. Nope, I need to launch it further. So if I do this... Okay, something like that might be an idea. Happy Explodemus. That's what the X stands for, explode. Okay, we got, we got robbed there by the physics. Mr. Slumberton is a good speaker. What what should they do? Who puts bombs in presents? No! Slumberton, why? Hey, the bombs are very bouncy as well. I'm honestly surprised that someone on like YouTube or something hasn't tried to replace the Mythbusters. Okay, so that really affects them all the way up there, that's crazy. That's a fair point. It's not the Mythbusters without the Mythbusters, right? Yeah, how much TNT in a present is too much TNT? You, you'd probably remember this, Shadow. Do you remember the program uh, Brainiac? 
That was a that was a weird one. I didn't hate it, but I also wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Land at Slumberton. Using our trained test dummy child. The expendable fourth one. Why are the bombs so bouncy? I mean, it wasn't, it definitely had its moments. But I think a lot of it was. When he opens this. Yes. I mean, you could also do that. You could do the explosive presence, but also the spring mount one. I try this one more time. Maybe really doing something wrong. Take that, Slumberton. Okay, well, that was clearly not it. What if we just do this? Once you settle down, we'll just blow up this one at the bottom. Be a relatively safe way to defuse this stack. Yes. There we go. And that we didn't need to be, we shouldn't have been afraid of the bomb. We should have taken a note out of Dr. Strangelove. How I learned to stop fearing the bomb. That one shrinks. That one doesn't do anything. That one shrinks. Okay, hold on. I think we can make that work. So if we get rid of these ones... Let it steady itself. So that one will expand, that one will expand. This one will explode, I think. I guess the other question we should ask ourselves, uh, chat, is, is there anything that we are looking for at the Boxing Day sales, out of curiosity? Is there anything that we didn't get that we maybe wanted to? I know for some of us, like, Shadow, we haven't necessarily had our Christmas gifts. I don't know if you're going to get more tonight at when your mum comes over for dinner. Go Slumberton. I think the thing is that there's not really much that I particularly want to pick up. Oh, there's a boxing glove over there. So these, these ones will turn into balls. This one will launch us up. This one will explode. Just nothing. Not even a, not even phased. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. No, Slumberton! more levels. At this point I am committed to trying to finish this game. Okay, 
that's a boxing glove. That expands. Oh, wait, hold on. We're still in it. That one explodes too. So does that one. Stay. Held. I got an email. <laughs> Excuse me, I went to a Christmas Eve service at like 8 p.m. And before that, I got an email from a store here, JB Hi-Fi. It's an electronics store that their Boxing Day sale had already started. And that was still on Christmas Eve. Like, damn, guys, at least uh, let us unwrap the presents we, we got first. Chill. That's a surprisingly little, small amount of presents I've had to take out of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, Slumberton, we'll get you down from there, don't worry. That'll turn into balls. This won't, and that won't. It's... I was gonna say it's almost like reverse Jenga, but it really isn't. It's like regular Jenga. Okay, what if we do that first? Trouble is, this is a structural beam here. Life size Jenga. No, what's what's life size Jenga? Is it like one of those ones with the very tall Jenga stack? No, I I clicked that too early. Hold, Slumberton, hold. Yeah, this is... Sorry, this one's a load-bearing present. Uh, that's gonna have to come out last. Wow, okay. I played Jenga in forever, actually. Just regular-sized Jenga at that. Well, can we just... excavate underneath this sky? Okay, so we can't touch that. Oh, we can't touch that either, actually. We can't touch that. Gaming. Just had to figure out which ones were the... the not load-bearing presents. There's a surprising amount of non-load-bearing presence in this. Bumbleton's fine. Extreme Makeover Jow Edition. Hi, I'm here to blow up your living room with presence. Okay, so now that's disconnected from this. No, Slumberton! We almost, we almost nailed it then. I did fix Christmas wasabi. Welcome on in. Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're doing well. How the jail fix Christmas? My mistake. Well, it was with weirdly structural and or explosive Christmas presents. How is your Christmas looking, or how has it been, depending on your time zone, Wasabi? No, Slumberton, I'm sorry! Wow! 
Whoa. Okay, that did a lot more damage than last time. That's alright, we're serving. Well, thank you for wishing me Merry Chrysler. No! I mean, this is the last level. This is level 24. So this is for all the marbles. No, Mr. President! Forceful punch. Oh, the SNES just blew up. Happy Honda days, yeah. I think it's a very American thing to have. I don't think we in Australia do the have the same level of like car promotion. Like, hey, you should buy your significant other a car for Christmas. That'll be a cool thing for you to do. But we don't really have, like, Honda days. For example. Can I punch you and not have Slumberton die? Yes, we can. I get a lot of my music from uh, commercials. 100% completion. We ate, we opened all of the advent calendar doors. Gaming, that's what this is. I just got a almost a flashbang of Pringles Paprika when I last had them open. I mean, you're not entirely incorrect. Um, we have been talking a lot about consumerism and shopping. How about we do Christmas Shopper Simulator? I just can't imagine ever being in a situation where I would buy my wife, my husband, my son a car for Christmas or whatever. It would just be so beyond my kind of lived experience as to like a reasonable Christmas gift. Hell yeah, what car would you get them? Shadow? I've never actually used skull candies before. What are they like? All right. Okay. Interesting. A diversity of opinions. So here we are, getting ready to do some Christmas shopping. We can be male or female. I will go male, because he looks slightly more depressed, I think. And as you can see, this is who the game was sponsored by. Game! Whoa, the mouse is a little bit over-responsive. Can we fix that? 
Do that, Dennis. Just a touch. Okay, yeah, I do want to actually have that inverted. Pink Jeep Trackle. Uncle Steve loves shampoo. All right, Uncle Steve, let's get you some shampoo. Some bargain buy shampoo. Nothing says Uncle Steve like bargain shampoo. Buy some at Scrounge Land and take it to the grotto to send it to him. Who are you, ma'am? I don't think I can. I don't actually think I can. Excuse me. There's no exit. Oi. No. Can I jump out the window? No, I can't. Sorry. Uh, I think I'm trapped. Can you try and rob me there, sir? I'm back here. I will... Oh, wow, you're strong. You just don't even take it. Like, nothing wrong. The full door was a trunk space. Nice. I do really like that you can... With the Wrangler, you can just, like, take off the doors, right? Is that right? Am I right in saying that? A new polar bear sweatshirt. Oh, no. Oh, the one at the top. Hold on. No, okay, hold on. Put you over there. We got it. Which was the trail cat? Was that the one where they slapped like the enormous V8 or V10 in it? Oh, hell yeah. Are we talking Coles Mud Cake Wolf? Because, I mean, as every Australian knows, that is pretty choice. Holiday special. Lisa loves watching documentaries about ants. How about buying her the largest TV you can find? Can do. Wasn't the other one the up escalator before? Okay, no one just no one cares. Um, the trouble is, Wolf, that I can't eat it anymore. Hello, sir. I'm looking for, I think, one of these. No, I'm not. Sorry. Do you have big TVs anyway? Oh, sorry. Yes, keyword was. I should read fully. Uh, I think I think just the standard chocolate mud cake. Sup? Oh wow, that's a. Oh, there's a payphone upstairs. Prize gift. Somebody dropped a game in Shafney. In Ruffington, find it and sneak out, trade it in for extra cash. In game, the retailer. Attention shoppers, please refrain from licking anything you find in the shopping center, or anyone for that matter. I, didn't, I can't. How do I sneak out of a store that's closed? Ah, by sneaking into it. Hi, I'm looking for a game that someone dropped. He just passed out. I'll free you, ma'am. No, where's it gone? Quick, take me to the game store. I need to trade this in. There, we've got the Z station, the XABV, a flash mob, Mind out. a console or a game called What?
It is an English game. This was made by game, if I, from what I've heard. This is like a promotional thing. It literally was a flash mob. They just left. Hey. Shit. Jenny wants a life-size doll because she is normal. Buy her a life-size doll from the Q store. Okay, well, if you say she's normal, who am I to judge? Come on, give me a boost. Okay, the frame rate does leave a little bit to be desired. I'll uh, we'll just go up the escalators like a normal person, I guess. Uh, Zing is the one with green lettering in Australia, which is kind of like a oh, fandom store. What are we getting? We're getting a life-size doll. Where is it? Why is it up there? Looks like it calls for some parkour. A cat in bikini bottom? Yes. We always had... Ours was a EB Games. That was... That was the Australian one. Game Boutique. So we had game. I don't know if it's still around. We had it for a while. But I think it was basically killed off by online stores, effectively. We also had... What was it? Um... Come on, on you get. Oh, we had a few others that have kind of come and gone. Game Traders was one. I think they're still kind of around. Buy a new pair of XXL jeans from Wide Load. Don't ask, just do it. Okie dokie. Excuse me, people. Ouch. Have you seen Wide Load? Oh, oh, absolutely. Much prefer dealing with the smaller stores. Hey, thanks, ma'am. Sorry. Sorry. That's alright. Hey. Hey. Watch out. Watch out. Sorry, Excuse me. I apparently need to take these jeans off of you. Mind out. Mind out. Mind out. Sorry. Sorry. It sounds like they just went down the, the local high street to get these for the uh... So one of my favorite stores currently for this kind of stuff is uh, CEX. Which we do still have, which we got relatively recently. What are you going to do with that, ma'am? Watch out. Sorry. I'm trying to, can I body slam you somehow? I quite enjoy it because it's got a quite a range of older things and they also pay a, pay a pretty good price for actually used stuff, which like EB Games does not. I feel like they're very stingy when it comes to their uh, trade-in value. Hey, can you help me out here, bud? I'm trying to get this thing off of her and she's not letting me. Are there no other... Oh, okay, well, that works. Quick search. Excuse me. Uh, I remember when the the fat PS3 was the cheapest Blu-ray player you could get. Ellie wishes for a panther, don't we all? Oh. Buy her a panda mask at Heads R uh, Us. It's a weird store. Why buy her that when we could buy her a fos foc a fos a fox mask and a horse elk? He wants me to go through the back. Oh, here we go. Weed store. 
Is it what? Does the fat PS3 is that the one which had like the backwards compatibility to a PS2? Because they basically had one built into it. Top thief. Christmas needs a hero. Catch the girl who's nicked a PC and pasties, and take it to the grotto. Oh, so we're stealing from her. Well, you know, taking it back from her, but not giving it to the store. No. Just preventing her from taking it. Oh. Come on. Upsy daisy. Okay. Oh no. What was that? Hold on. Christmas shopper the movie. Papa's got a brand new couple of bags. Cannot jump with this. That's weird. Well, I think they they kind of patched that out at some point, unfortunately. Auntie Ian thinks she's a bear. Find her a costume. It's cheaper than therapy. Oh. Well, not entirely incorrect. Oi. This is... Heads 2. What was this one? Heads are us. Okay, well that makes sense. This is, this is the sequel. Point two five percent off. Well, I mean, why not? Sorry, sir. Hey. Sorry. That's all right. I've done a lot worse to people around here. I'm trying to like parkour over. Oh, that works. Sucker. Okay, we're just gonna rob it. That's fine. This game is free and a promotional item. It's... I mean, it's definitely not it. Sorry. Sorry. The, um... You were saying before how this kind of inspires you to go to Amazon rather than the store. I think the thing that inspires me most about this and wanting to not be here is just this guy running around like a maniac. Can we get in the forklift? No, we can't. That is... Attention shoppers. Please don't smash up our crates. They have huge sentimental value. Really unfortunate. I mean, the fact that you can only move it forwards and backwards, just depending on which side you you do it, is not great. Boxing day tomorrow! Are you looking to do anything in particular for Boxing Day? Wolf, you got any, like, planned shopping or something? Uh. Oh, the lag. Hang out with mates. I'm actually doing something similar. I'm having a, a lunch with some mates. They're coming over to Jow HQ. Oh, your hair's disappeared, sir. Hope it's worth it. Okay. Hold on, I'll help you out here, buddy. Don't worry. I got this one. This one's on the house. Oof. There you go. Thank you, Wasabi. I did need that. And I did need that too, actually. There really isn't. Sorry. Oh, and thank you for the stretch too. Wasabi looking out for me. Well, isn't the Godzilla... What is it? Godzilla... Minus one or something? Or is that not in Australia yet? I think that is basically the game done. Oi. <laughs> so I guess the rest of it is just playing with the physics sandbox. Attention, 
Can I just buy this? I mean, that's not part of the mission. No, of course not. I'm going to make sure there is not a pane of glass in this place. That was another one. Go to the game store, defeat the Black Knight, and seize the legendary sword and marvel at its shininess. Oi. Mind out. Mind out, Gorgie. Mind out. Excuse me. Hey. Mind out. Mind out. Mind out. I'm going to defeat you, sir. Sorry. Sorry? Oi. You're, you're a tough customer. Was the Hunger Games any good, Wolf? The, what is it, the Hunger Games prequel, whatever it's called? Excuse me? Excuse me? Find out. Come on, buddy. Oh, we just uh, ate a tinner. Oh, and we are like super speed. Uh, do we take it to the grotto? Glass. Oh. All missions complete. Thank you for choosing us for your pretend Christmas shopping. Oh, I never checked out the bathroom. Classic men's bathroom. Someone's passed out. How are we doing? Uh, the orange juice. Mind out. Oh, thank goodness. Ow. Sorry, ladies. Oof. Pardon, sorry. Well, it is a shopping center. It's not a. It's not a bar toilet. I feel like they're not terrible in the bars. Uh, in the in the shopping centers, the bars, yes, atrocious. Imagine not being open on Christmas. Come on, why didn't you work? I must ask you there about say baguette or la quassa. If not, then say ambujea. Nano. Oi, then that? ratatouille. I demand to speak to the manager. He's a rat. <laughs> He's a rat? Oh, sacre bleu. Yeah, I mean, I f it's an increasingly common sight. I feel like everywhere's got a sale on all the time. Definitely, I would, I would never buy something without a a sale on, because like everywhere else has a sale. Ow. Stop walking down the upper escalator. Excuse me, Mark Zuckerberg coming through. Exit 8. No, I haven't. What is Exit 8, Wolf? Enlighten me. I'm just kind of rubbing up against it and breaking it. This is probably more accurate to what it should look like, that level of pixelation. Hey, are you stealing that computer? Out by a heartless algorithm. Oh, we, they did have Amazon. There you go. I didn't expect them to have Amazon. They totally do. I, I do like it. I think it. I think it is honestly my favourite redeem that I've put together. It took a lot of work, but uh, I think it comes together really well. I think it gives the authentic early to mid '90s computer experience. Where is this last piece of glass that I can jump through? Attention all shoppers, this is Jao. Please leave. Attention 
all game shoppers. Okay, I've smashed all the glass. I think it's time to move on to something else. See, look at all these achievements we got. Us win 10. Oh, no, hold on a second, guys. Excuse me. How do we pass wind? Oh, you can fart everywhere? Oh, you're lucky I discovered this just now. This would have been the experience otherwise. Ma'am? If you have any thoughts on your shopping experience, please note them down and pop them into the first bin you see. Why are you... So much larger than everyone else. Hold on. I'm gonna get a tinny or whatever this is and... Knock you down. Let me at it. Ah, too fast. Die, giant. Saving humanity. Hold on, can I trade you in? Can I trade this woman in, please? I know it's not, like, the 1800s. Well, you took her anyway. I think the game crashed. That was too much for the game. Oh, now you start working once I hit the con... Nope. He pretended to work. I do find that, I find that, like, a lot of computer programs will start working when you hit the, uh, or bring up the task manager. It's almost like they're scared. They're like, oh, he's serious now. I better we'll start working. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a game called No More Snow. This one's from Itch. No, oh, it's getting captured. So basically this is, I'm Santa Claus here, obviously. And I'm out here defending against <laughs> zombie snowmen. I'm gonna turn in the music just a bit more. You know, as you do. This is just the demo because the full game is $11 and I am not going to spend that much money on what is basically a meme. And look, we even like bonfires, so this is truly the dark soul of Christmas games. We can probably use a bomb actually, that makes sense. And there's only one hot, it's one hit kill as well for me as well as them. I obviously played a little bit of it before just to test how it would work out. I feel, like, I feel like I've seen something with like killer snowman. Idiot. <laughs> Walked into the bomb. What a fool. You'd think you'd be using something like a flamethrower, right? Rather than like a a bullet gun. Okay, we're shooting over that guy.
Boss Arena? No, Tommy Gun. Well, no, oh, Boss Arena. Oh man, that's noisy. Oh, let's turn in the volume just all together a little bit. It really is just a Left 4 Dead mod. If I had my senses, I probably should have just done that. I should have just done a Left 4 Dead mod. Yay, I win. I put up two hands. Oh, a double barrel shotgun. Or I could just use a bomb. Uh, Tommy gun, please. Can I throw a bomb over the fence? Success. I haven't played Left 4 Dead 2 in forever. I used to play that quite regularly with my friends. I had one in particular, Eleven, who liked to go to an internet cafe to play it. I haven't done that in forever. It is, it is amazing how much staying power that game has. Like, if you think about how old it is, and that it's still basically the best version of that game. The bombs are very useful. I'm glad that Santa carries bombs. Because they're a little bit quieter than the... Uh, Tommy gun. Somehow. No. Don't don't slap me like that. And it's also got like you were kind of alluding it before. It's got some fantastic mods to it as well. snowmen and all of the players various elves for example there's probably a mod that makes all the guns candy canes that said I do want to play uh, World War Z just because of the the scale of that game. Can we kill him before we trigger him? Maybe not. No, we can't. We can't even damage him. That's a shame. Like space as a dodge roll or something from a I don't know Dark Souls or something like that. There sure, are a lot of snowmen about. Two hands up! I saw that it came to Game Pass, Wolf, so I was like, oh, I do want to have a look at that, actually. Let's try the shotgun this time. Maybe it's less noisy than the Tommy gun is. 
Oh, what are you? Witches? Oh, your skeleton's wearing snowmen. This is also not a pump action shotgun, it's a double barrel shotgun. But I don't know where they get off having this kind of noise for it. Getting increasingly spooky. Back for Blood was also, it was alright, but it, it didn't, I don't know, didn't quite capture the same Left for Deadness. I did definitely enjoy that you could aim down sights, that was a pretty huge improvement in my mind. It was one thing that I found very annoying about Left 4 Dead, and I guess like Source games in general. Like Counter-Strike, you couldn't aim down. I don't know if you still can't. Oh, that was a really poor throw, Santa. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Oh, that's a lot of fellas. An onslaught of fellas, one might say. Oh, there's just so much debris I can't get through. Do I get another shotgun or a Tommy gun? I guess another shotgun? I don't know what that means. Does it make it better? You alright there, champ? All right, thanks for coming. What? Oh, I walked into the acid. I'm just a grenadier at this point. I guess they're like um, the boomers or whatever from Left 4 Dead. that hit no one, that bomb. There we go, that's what it was meant to do. Meant to blow up like that. Wow, we got some real variety in enemies all of a sudden. really is a bit of a generalist, right? He's good at a lot of things. Here he is, being a pretty good marksman. That's a Tommy gun. That's probably a shotgun, right? Uh, that's got a minigun. <laughs> Wrong season, pumpkin lady. I 
wasn't looking at the screen, I was looking at her. I think... Oh, did we just go back to a rocket launcher, maybe? My Alexa telling me to go to bed because it's a Monday and not a streaming day. Yeah, okay, so the rocket launcher was a much better choice, it turns out. I can get rockets on target at least. Oh, there's a skeleton there. Not on your life. <laughs> ah, you got a little bit of damage. Just a bit, just a touch. Every little bit helps though. Don't scythe me, damn it! Cause I, it's because I slow down when I'm clicking. I gotta keep clicking to keep shooting. <laughs> oh, I missed, and now she's got full health. And I can't skip the cutscene. I just can't keep shooting. I, it, it takes too much time to move if you're shooting. What do we, let's try the minigun this time. Let's be a bit of different. Got a little bit of damage on him. Yeah, he does need a speed buff, but I guess Santa is inherently more of a tank. He's, he's a he's a large individual. Keep firing for too long and then getting stuck. Please nerf this final boss. <laughs> it would also be super chill if the cutscene didn't have to play each time. It's because it also takes it like a full second before you can start moving at 100% speed.
I will let flag that this is a free demo off of HIO, so. Nailed it. Two hands up! Thanks for trying at our game. I hope you had a blast battling Krampus as Santa. I didn't know we were battling Krampus, sorry. If you had fun and want to see more, please consider adding the game to the wish list. I did have fun, but I don't know if I necessarily want to see more. I don't mean that in like a rude way, just that I think I've had my f I've had enough. I've had my share. So the last one that I really have, I didn't quite. Ex well, we can. We do have Christmas Shopper Simulator Two. So I think, I think I had. I did have a brief look at it on Steam, because uh, just to see how it was different. And I think it has uh, either local co-op or um, online co-op. So in that sense, it could be better. This is not being captured, but we can do... Where's the display capture? We can do this. We can put down props and actors. This is the Santa Village Builder. I don't know what it is, or why it is, or anything, really. There's the big man himself. Get gingerbread men, gnomes, jack in the box, logs. This isn't much of a village builder at all, game. I'm just gonna walk around. There's no houses. Where do they live? Hmm. I think this one might be a bust, gamers. The army of snowmen. And this is after the ball, the North Pole. We're gonna have a few owls up in here. Okay, we can turn that off, thank you. They've made a gift. A small log. The fact there is a small log would to me indicate that there is also a large log. Like, there's not much to this at all, really. I mean, it's better than any game I could make. There's no denying that. But I was kind of expecting a little bit more to it. I just call that one there. Hmm. I was hoping that one would maybe last a little bit longer. Don't really have much else to go off. Um, what do we want to do? What else do we want to do? Let's, let's try this. Let's try and download this. See if that's a good goer. What are you doing for your, your main course, Shadow? Are you doing a ham? A, a turkey? Loading crew. I'm ready. How am I doing? 
meant to be doing. Well, not dying like that, probably. Roast turkey with all the trimmings. Lots of veg gravy, cheese sauce. Ooh. That does sound like a, a nice meal you've got yourself there. about it. No, I mean, it would be a really different. Though I often find that, because I, I cook for one, for my part, you can't turn down the volume in the game. Awesome. And it's really hard to cook for one in that a lot of the recipes are for four, in my experience, like for a family. Go. No, the gifts. Yeah, that too. gifts isn't bad, that's enough for some presents. Okay, that was the game. Thank you very much, game. I was hoping again that that would maybe be a little bit long. That's a, a recurring theme, it seems. The other option is we have a look at a horror game. There's a surprising number of horror uh, Christmas games. I guess it isn't surprising. I feel like HIO is just the home of horror games. Like, if there's going to be. Uh, it's kind of like Rule 34, but for horror. And basically for any topic, now that I think about it. If there is a horror game. If there's a topic, there's a horror game of it on on each. It's just how it is. What is Logistical 2? A large open world strategy puzzle game where you transport different cargoes to complete all the towns throughout the state or country. Thousands of towns, thousands of businesses complete across the world. Many free sub modules to get you started. Oh, I see. Okay. Because I've just gone to Steam to see Free Xmas. What about Free Christmas? I don't know if the Expender Bros is quite the Christmas game I was looking for. Thank you, though. I do appreciate it. There is also a lot of at least on Steam, quite a few Secret Santa, or not Secret Santa, Santa visual novels. Uh, no, the closest thing I've had to hosting a dinner party is I had my parents over a couple of times, and one time with my brother's... Oh, excuse me. With my brother's uh, girlfriend uh, for dinner. But I can't remember, I don't think I cooked for that. I cooked, no, I cooked for my parents, but not for when my brother's girlfriend and my parents came over as well. That was, um, my mum was, uh, able to bring the food with her. And I, I just kind of reheated and hosted it. I've never really hosted like a proper air quotes um, 
thing. What's the word? Proper air quotes, dinner party. I've had like friends over and stuff, but not like a, a formal event, I guess. No, that's actually not a great game according to the reviews, so we won't do that one. Who would have thought it would be this hard to find Christmas games to play? Yeah, it's Shei Zhao. Please pull up a chair while I get the food together. I mean, the closest I've done, when I had them over, uh, it was winter time, so I had the the air conditioning on reverse cycle doing heating, and then I had a fireplace YouTube video playing on the TV just to really get that, that fire, almost like Christmas in July feeling going. That was nice. I don't particularly want to play a Christmas horror game if I can avoid it. You know? Because then it's not quite the the vibe. Yeah, that's the other thing, right? You gotta then clean it all up. Let's have a look at... No, we don't want the 32-bit. We're not the peasants. We're gonna get the 64-bit. Let's have a look at Santa Gets a Shotgun. Sounds like a classic tale. I don't think I've downloaded this many files before uh, in this shorter time frame. Okay, so we're back to Unity. We were in Godo for a while. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank goodness I have that. Play single player. Let's have a look at the settings first. Clearer font. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a clearer font. Allow. Fight for as long as you can, gain points and upgrade your weapons to become stronger. So I guess we're playing COD Zombies, but with Santa Claus. Got to defend the elves from snowmen. Hold on, we're going to turn down the music even more. Die, you voxel. Wow, you really don't show up that well on the white snow, huh? I think I may have found a hat, guys. Is that a present or a health, do you think? You need to open the shop. So we can do damage, we can get more health, we can get grenades. When I I didn't have a um, a dishwasher for a while, that was rough. Surprise! It's me, Santa. I mean, to give you the gift of lead. Actually, it'd be Buckshot. I don't know what Buckshot is, if it's lead. They are such a... There are, like, definitely a few things where it's, like, I couldn't really live without. And a dishwasher is probably one of them. Yeah. It's just so nice to be able to just set it and then, you know, go to the shops or whatever, and you come back and it's done. 
Shot speed, slightly increase the shot accuracy. No. Two extra bullets? No, that might not be bad. I think I want damage though. Because we're not that slow to reload. Six shots is pretty plenty. Oh, absolutely. I still do. Because between busy work, depression, and a whole range of things, often the things will just sit around. Oh, getting smart with me, huh? Okay, so we're gonna take out this guy first. The trouble is, is, it's not a very well lit environment. I think it would be better if the lighting was a bit different so you could see the snowman a bit more. Come on. Oh, real circle strafing stuff here. Come back here. I'm gonna die. So I, I would, I have often taken advantage of just like the let it air out for a bit, which is obviously not good. But I'm, I'm trying to get better of just like putting it in the dishwasher as like, even if I don't turn it on, just like we'll leave it in there and we can figure it out later. I know this is accurate to snow, but it is annoying to just hear snow footsteps all the time. How did I miss that? See that twitch shot? Hell! Oh, what's all this? I've got a monument. In memory of a brave, brave flying Santa. Do I not fly? That's a shame. on. Do we get more health? Maybe a good idea. More damage, perhaps? Maybe... Uh, maybe more ammo. Yeah, absolutely. It might also be that I should be, like, staying around here more. But even here, it's not too brightly lit. It's a very kind of dim game. There's nothing to, like, change that. How dare you. Come on, get, get some pellets on that fool. I've never actually made a snowman now that I think about it. Like, I have seen snow, but... We just didn't think of making a snowman while we were there. We were in uh, Massachusetts at the time. And I had a pretty good cover of snow. For almost like a week. But it just didn't even cross our mind now that I think about it. I think we're just happy to be inside in the warmth. I didn't even think we had a snowball fight. Yes. 
I mean, there's there's a lot of things I could have done, but I just didn't. And I don't know, I don't know why actually. Now I think about it. Maybe accuracy. I don't know if that's going to help us though. Oh well, I didn't buy it, so it doesn't matter. I feel like what we would, what I would ideally have is just more like sh buckshot in my round. So it had a larger area of effect. I don't necessarily want it to be more accurate. Oh, that's suicide bombers now. I just want it to affect. Sedaging too. That always looks so much fun. And tobogganing has always been, like, a fascinating idea to me. Well, like, sorry, the... What is it in the Winter Olympics? The... Bobsled. Bobsledding down the... Always like that idea, so obviously it wouldn't be the same, but... It's probably as close as a Australian fellow is going to get. Increase the damage. And then we'll increase the ammo. Probably should have increased the health. That was 35 for a box. I mean, I've got a lot of... I know a lot of people that are really big on snow... Not necessarily snowboarding, but like skiing. Snow sports. Because there are some snow fields in Australia. Down in the the Alps on the border of Victoria and New South Wales, and also it's not uncommon for people if they've got the money to go to places like Canada or, or even Japan. The snow, particularly if you go to a private school, that's not uncommon. Yeah, I th I think I'd like to ski once just to know what it's about. I'd probably be more interested in going for like a hike or something, to be honest. There we go. Gotta lead the shots a little bit. Yeah, the other thing is I, I've never really like snowboarded or skateboarded or surfed. I can't imagine I'd be especially good at it. Move speed? Mm, maybe. I think health. Health is more important. We are having a little bit of a rough time out there. Go with those fellas. What are you? a regular one but with a helmet on basically street luge now that does sound very extreme sports is this the luge is that the one that you go down head first no you sit at, you sit on top of it right Head first is the skeleton, yeah. That, I mean, it sounds like it's one of those things that I can see would be super fun. But I'd also be terrified of actually doing it. Maybe you think about investing in some grenades as well, actually. I think 
but maybe I should invest in the faster bullets. Maybe that'll uh, make it easier to hit things. Hopefully. Let's go find some health. I haven't really had a, a big accident in a long while. Particularly when it comes to wheeled things. I think the last big boo-boo I gave myself was I accidentally kicked um, uh, a stair balustrade as I was coming around the corner and really did a number on my small toe. So I didn't have to run into that guy. Get dunked on, fool. Don't ride while intoxicated. Uh, I'll be honest, Shadow. Kind of... Kind of thought that might be the case to begin with. So we can move a little bit faster. Probably not a bad idea. A bit more zoomies. the head. I'm shooting at the head. Why is this shotgun simultaneously so accurate and so inaccurate? I feel like I aim at the head and it will miss, but if I go slightly to the left, it will hit. I mean, I know it's a shotgun. I'm not talking about a sniper over here, but still. Consistency, that's all I'm looking for. The extra speed is definitely a plus, though. Rollerblades. I never. Uh, I think I did f once try rollerblades out. The closest thing was probably uh, ice skating. There's an ice skating rink uh, at a shopping center not far from here, and there were. It was quite common to have a. Not for me myself, but for like school friends to have a birthday party there. But I don't think I ever really roller skated. I think we definitely need more health. Get some grenades. Yeah, I mean, I've got mad respect for anyone who can actually roll a blade. That is tough. Tough to do. Or, or, or just ice skate for that matter. It's basically the same principle.
Why won't you die? Oh, the the Heelys or whatever? Classic. I mean, the dream for me would be to learn how to ride a skateboard just so I could use an electric one. These are all, like, at their heads. They contact with it, you damn buckshot. There's some health. Hitboxes, people, hitboxes. There is some health over here. We might also get a damage up as well. In the next round of upgrades. Just so even if we're not, like, headshotting them, we can still do some damage on them. Uh, uh, accuracy? I'm gonna, mm, I don't actually know what shot speed does. Any more health around here? Yep. I wonder how they did it. Did they just like throw a snowball at the, the foley artist or whatever? They can get quite uh, compacted, right? Quite dense. It's almost like a, uh, like a paintball. It varies from projectile to projectile. I swear to goodness, my crosshair is on their heads more often than not. But does the game act like it? Oh. I cast Ice Ball! I really wish I had like a, I don't know, assault rifle, anything other than a shotgun to be honest. If I had a rapid fire weapon, it would be so Jova. Yeah, here we are go again. Dan is out fighting the evil snowman. Uh, let's try an accuracy upgrade, see what that does, and we might as well get a reload upgrade. No, it is faster. I don't know how much it's going to help. Like how necessary it is. Oh, we won't say no. I guess the real reason you want an accuracy upgrade is that more of the shot will hit where you're aiming. They can possibly be a little bit further away and just like aim for the body. It's 
surprise, idiots. It's me, Santa Claus. I have 19 health. I mean, it's supposed to be like a pretty regular occurrence. The fact that they've still left like their lights on inside, to me, indicates that this is pretty normal. All right, well, best of luck and Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good dinner with your mum, and I will uh, see you on Wednesday for uh, some more GTA 5 Chaos. Throwing snowmen. These are the rough ones. I'm gonna call it there. That's a pretty good kill count, though. That's carnage. Upgrades are infinite. Enemies are tougher and more plentiful. You get more points. This mode is meant to break. So it's just the same again, okay. Multiplayer could be interesting. All right, gamers, I'm gonna call it there. It's a little bit early, I know, but it's Christmas, so I think I'm gonna treat myself to a little bit of an earlier night on this unscheduled stream. I think I'm gonna throw you at who I'm gonna throw you at. Oh, Mega maybe? Nah. Uh, let's throw you at Boon Bowl. All right, gamers, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, Merry Christmas again. If you want to keep up with me outside of stream, hit me up on these socials here, on Twitter, Blue Sky or Threads, the announcements about the stream, or Instagram, TikTok, the Clip Manager, our YouTube channel, or the funnies, or the commanderjow.card for all of the above listed again. Or join the Discord to talk outside of stream with all of us. Uh, I will see you on Wednesday for some more GTA 5 Chaos. I hope you had or are having a good Christmas. And yeah, I will see you on Wednesday. Let's go say hi to Toon. And thanks for dropping in. All right, cheerio. My white sticky stuff, can you make more?